Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the horizontal type mask tool in Photoshop and our goal is to cut text from a paper. Today I will be working in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2015 and the mask tools that we're going to be looking at are included in Photoshop Elements and they do work the same way as uh, I'm going to demonstrate today. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is open the document that uh, we would like to cut our text from or work from. This is a layout created with my latest kit, Chart Your Course, by one of my creative team members, Renee. Renee is going to be going to Africa in a couple of months and this is uh, the layout she's going to be using for her cover of her travel album. So I talked her into letting me uh, demonstrate with this layout today. So thank you very much, Renee. I already have a layer um, that it was invisible. This is from the kit, a ledger paper from the kit, and I would like to go ahead and cut out the title Africa from this uh, paper right here. Now if you place your documents within Photoshop, within your, um, if I had placed this in my document rather than opened it and dragged it over, it would be a raster or vector image. This technique does not work on vector images, so if your image uh, that you're going to be working with is a vector, you will need to rasterize it or in Photoshop Elements simplify it. So the text tool is uh, the uh, mask tool is right over here. It's nested in the uh, type tool. This is typically what we have visible or what I usually have visible, but if we click on that down pointing arrow, we will see the horizontal type mask tool and the vertical type mask tool. They work exactly the same way. The only difference is the way that they orient your type. So let's go ahead and click on that horizontal type mask tool to select it. Making sure that your uh, ledger paper is active, we just click anywhere on it. And when we do that, Adobe is going to fill our whole document with a red mask. Don't let that scare you like it did me the first time I, I did that. I thought, oh goodness, what have I done? But that's exactly what's supposed to happen. The only thing you need to do at this point is go ahead and type your word, and I will go ahead and type Africa. You can click anywhere on the document and drag your word around wherever you wanted it. If you wanted that blue line right in the middle, or if you didn't, you can move it down. You could also go ahead and change your uh, font choice or your font size here uh, now as well if you wanted to do that. Once you are happy with your choice, go ahead and click on the uh, check mark at the top menu bar or top options bar to connect to um, commit your choice and the mask will disappear and you will see marching ants around your word and that lets you know that that word is selected. At this point you have a few different options. If you just want the word cut out on your ledger paper and don't want the ledger paper anymore, you can hit Control J. That will copy the word. And you could just leave your uh, ledger paper invisible or delete it. But if you wanted both the word and the ledger paper, you could do something else. So let me go Control Z to backspace to where we were before. Okay. Now I could grab the move tool and I could move this off. Hit Control D to deselect and now I have the word and the paper. The only problem with doing it this way is that they are on the same layer. So if I wanted them on separate layers, I would need to duplicate them, erase the ledger on one layer, erase the word on the other layer and you could do that. That wouldn't be a problem but there is a little bit easier way. We can control Z to go back and this time let's go ahead and type the word Africa again. I'm going to commit that and I'm going to hit Control J. And if I turn that off, you can see the word Africa is there. But I'm also going to 
click on the thumbnail of Africa and come down to the ledger journal and hit delete. And now if I turn off the um, word Africa, you see that we ha still have that nice cutout down here. And here we have the word Africa, and they are both on the same layer. Sometimes that's really nice to use both of them. And I could use Africa. Let's get this invisible. Let's see, let's find her. There we go. So I could use Africa right there. I would probably change, um, because I'm using a lighter tone here, I would probably go ahead and change her color in her tux to match it, make it a little bit brighter. Bring it over here a little bit. Or if we wanted to use the um, ledger paper, we could do that as well. So let's make this invisible and bring up that ledger paper. I really kind of like that cutout look there. And let's move this down to underneath this document here. I'm going to make right click on that to make it blue just so I know where it is. It's an easy way to find it. Let's move her text down here. And if I were going to do this again, I'd probably move this word, the cutout, a little bit further down here. But you get the idea that you can use the cutout or the word itself. Either way, it looks great. It's a fun technique. And um, you have a lot of flexibility when you keep the word on one layer and the ledger on another layer. So experiment, have fun, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for stopping by.